the great debate regarding graffiti is whether it is considered art or vandalism. We can all agree it's writing on a wall, but did you know that graffiti artists call themselves writers? Let's talk about how we would define graffiti. Graffiti is a form of visual communication, usually it's illegal, involving the unauthorized marking of public space by an individual or group. Although the common image of graffiti is a stylistic symbol or phrase spray painted on a wall by a member of a street gang, some graffiti is not gang related. Another definition could be writing or drawings scribbled, scratched or sprayed illicitly on a wall or other surface in a public place. Going back into history, the earliest graffiti was created prior to written language and the first drawings on walls appeared on caves thousands of years ago. Cueva de la Manos is the Cave of Hands located in Santa Cruz, Argentina, and it offers one of the first fascinating ancient graffiti pieces. This painting dates from 13,000 to 9,000 BCE. The Lascaux Caves in France is the setting where you can find a complex of caves with some of the most famous Paleolithic cave paintings. These were created between 15,000 to 20,000 years ago. What makes them so beautiful is how they capture energy and motion within the figures. These elements of energy and motion can also be seen in the unique lettering designs of graffiti writers and are important in modern graffiti art pieces even today. Did you know? The word graffiti comes from the Italian language and it is the plural of the word graffito. They are both derived from the word graffio, which means a scratch. In Greek, the verb graphene means to write which is also where the word graffiti comes from and why graffiti artists call themselves writers. In ancient Rome, and an example of graffio to scratch, we can find letters inscribed on the outside and inside of the Colosseum. This graffiti style can also be seen in other artifacts and wall murals on the streets of Rome and in the bathhouses. In ancient Egyptian civilization, Egyptians were a major contributor to the developing of art in history. They often scratched and chiseled out designs on walls. Here you can see the different details in carvings and paintings they did. Using images and hieroglyphics, they were able to write things in a way that represented ideas using both words and drawings combined. These would be done on walls, within tombs, in palaces, and even on the floors in important buildings. From past to present, even though the first wall drawings which appeared in caves thousands of years ago are considered art today, people who view graffiti today still debate if it is considered art or not. Modern graffiti started in the United States in the 1960s. By the late 1960s, it had reached New York. This new art form became very popular through the 1970s when artists began tagging buildings. Soon after, underground trains could be seen covered in spray paint and became a popular place for taggers to write. In different communities like New York, Brooklyn and Philadelphia, graffiti artists began painting on any public surfaces they could without getting caught. A tag is the most basic type of graffiti. It is the artist's signature. It's usually written in spray paint or marker pen. Often in the underground graffiti world, tagging is considered the lowest means of the art form and tagging on top of another art piece created as a mural or piece by an accomplished skilled graffiti artist is considered disrespectful. To do a throw up or bomb an area, it basically is a step up from tagging and has a more stylized graffiti lettering with two or three colors added to it. This style of graffiti is done often quickly, which means it sacrifices its overall aesthetic for speed. This type of graffiti is done usually in competitions to show the artist's ability to create something skilled in the least amount of time. They are often done in illegal places, defacing property, and instead of beautifying an area, it can make an area look undesirable. A more sophisticated elaborate piece is called actually piece and wild style. A piece in graffiti is more elaborate, it is stronger stylization, a lot more detail, sometimes other elements accompanying the piece and are incorporated with much larger range of colors. 
Wild style involves interlocking letters and connecting points. Artists have to first plan this piece out in a notepad or sketch pad before executing the design. Here are some examples of really strong interlocking wild style pieces. Even though graffiti artists consider themselves writers with free speech and a voice they want to share, spraying secretly on a wall or other surface in a public place without permission is considered to be vandalism. Vandalism is a crime and vandals can be punished. Vandalism is the deliberate destruction of belongings or property. Originally, tags were a thing gangs did to mark their territory. This can still be true today. Now in many communities, artists that call themselves crews and writers of graffiti form groups to have competitions of timed throw-up works. But in some large cities like New York and Toronto, they have what they call free walls for a graffiti artist to come and create murals and graffiti words without breaking the law. During the 1980s, many graffiti artists began using roofs or canvases for their art. In fact, they sometimes even got commissions for doing murals on business walls. Even today, the debate over whether graffiti is vandalism or art is still being discussed. But one thing remains true, defacing property in any way is still wrong and illegal. When graffiti artists don't get permission to use public space, their graffiti is illegal and against the law. Some towns and cities have provided artists legal graffiti sites like large areas with old buildings where artists can showcase their work. There are also a lot of urban galleries now that have begun showing graffiti artists in their galleries to change the perspective that graffiti can be considered art as well. A gallery is a safe place to share their work and is not illegal. Armo is a graffiti artist who now does his graffiti on beautiful large canvases. Here are some examples of more of his pieces. Daim, spelt D-A-I-M, is a famous German graffiti artist who lives and works in Hamburg. He is particularly known for his large size 3D style graffiti works. His pieces are shown in galleries all around the world and he gets paid jobs which are called commissions to paint and create murals on walls for commercial buildings. He is recognized as one of the best graffiti artists in the world. Specifically his style has a really strong 3D effect and this 3D style graffiti has become his trademark. It is technically um, very sophisticated in its style and the precision and neatness of his work um, lends itself to a really strong effect. This has actually gained him so much admiration as one of the best graffiti artists around the world and his work looks like it is coming off the canvas or the wall which makes it just that much more cooler. Another type of street graffiti is called stencil graffiti. Um, stencil graffiti is using cardboard or paper stencils to create and recreate an image. The image is cut out and then transferred to a surface using spray paint or roll-on paint. And one of the most notorious and famous graffiti artists that uses this technique is Banksy. A lot of Banksy's work is done using stencils and Banksy is very famous but nobody knows his true identity as he keeps it a secret. His work is often political or humorous and he uses art to express his own opinions. Did you know Banksy's art has actually sold for over a million pounds? His work appears in a lot of public places and this has caused lots of controversy as he uses illegal graffiti sites to showcase his work and his art is admired around the world but at the same time he is breaking the law. This inevitably leads me to the last question. Is graffiti art or is it vandalism? If vandalism is defined as the act of deliberately destroying or damaging property, an art can also be defined as something that is created with imagination and skill and it's beautiful or that expresses important ideas or feelings. What do you think? Is graffiti art or is it vandalism? Let's discuss.